Giants. I'm James Cebulski. Pivotal game three of this playoff series tonight. Two teams looking start for a win. And we are set to go. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Penalty coming up here. This is a real tough way to come out of the gate, the onset of a game. You want to get everyone into it. You want to get momentum rolling, and now you're killing a minor. Belarus gets set to go to work on the power play for the first time tonight. In a scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Quick pass to Curl. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Sacrifices the body to block that in front. Quick shot. Can't get it to go. Another stop by the goaltender. Curran's got the puck. Quick feed down low. Moscow's got a hold of it along the wall. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Great reach by Stechnikov. Coughs it up on the play. Man advantage is up there to his back to even strength. Scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, you will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. This is exactly why you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Dynamos have to be feeling good about themselves. They have been pushing and pushing to start this one. James, they're emotionally charged as they're at home, they're playing their opponent, and they started right from puck drop, and that emotion was transferred and channeled into their feet because they've been all over the ice with their legs under them. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Puts it on net, gets in front of it. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. And there's another stop. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They are really applying the squeeze. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Natural tendency for players is to reach when they've lost position on their opponent. When you reach, often you take out the feet of your opponent. This is an easy tripping call. look tonight at their power play unit well a timely power play at this juncture of the game james to even it up this is huge for this power play your big stars they need to shine and he takes the pass with the stop well, that was a hard shot and the mask makes the save he got his bell rung on that one james fires it on net gets the glove on it Moscow's got possession of the puck. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Quick feed to Grigorenko. Comes up with the stop. Right on the doorstep. Scores! All over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Fritz wins the draw at center. Osipov's carrying it ahead. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Here he is on the backhand. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the post. 
postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, lack of coverage here, and as a result, there is a goal scored against them, James, but it's all about wandering outside the middle of the ice. You know that you always have to protect the middle. You want to make sure that you're only giving up perimeter shots, but because of that lack of coverage, they expose the middle of the ice. Getting into the later stages of this period, Moscow's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. And off the draw, they take the puck. Picked off in the open ice. Slides it diagonally to Merkley. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Dynamos need to find their legs, James. There's been no urgency, and they really haven't been skating at all. They've been chasing the game. They've had zero possession time. They've got to find a way to carry the puck and get some opportunities. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Moscow's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Kamenev's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical it's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. I just love these types of goal, James. I mean, you can see the energy on the bench, the coach. Everyone is uplifted because these are dirty areas. These are tough areas. These are competitive will-type goals. And he finds the back of the net because he was willing to pay the price. Kamenev's game possession inside the neutral zone. Takes a shot. And that's blocked in traffic. And he takes a shot. But stop right there. Hamilton's feeling that, and someone's going to the box. Belarus is ready to go back to work on special teams. When you're struggling on your power play, you can't get pretty. You gotta get it to the net with net front presence. You never know if you'll get a redirect, and you'll get a sniff for a rebound. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Takes the feed. How did he stop that one? He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. The Dynamo's gonna work on offense. Shoots it. Long side save. Moscow's penalty killers get a hold of it. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. We're still in the early stages of this period. Moscow's got a 3-1 lead. Belarus takes possession off the faceoff. Turns him away. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Great reflexes, another save. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. Chance to set up now. That seals over the net. Oh, bar out. It stays out. Trying to shake the defender. Stones him on the breakaway. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And he loses control here. Prince takes possession right off the draw. Reaches out and uses the stick. Shuts him down. I always call this driving the dot. Not being afraid to get to the inside of the ice, but it takes a ton of courage and power to fight your way to that spot. He does it, he gets the shot off, but the goaltender has another idea and turns it aside. Quick feed to Nesterov. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And he denied that opportunity. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Volkov's getting called for tripping. A 
Another scoring opportunity looms here. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Swing and a miss. Poking up with the stick in the defensive end. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. The checkers played along the way. There he is from the slot. Stones him in front. Ennis wins the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Puts it on net, gets in front of it for the block. Moscow's got a hold of it along the wall. Chance in front! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? There's the horn. Two periods down, a third period to go. Stick around and join us. For Opening face-off for period number three is ready to go. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Dynamos have had a ton of great A scoring chances. They just haven't been able to solve the goaltender. They can't get frustrated. I really like their play. They just got to stick with the game plan and continue to attack the net. All sorts of pressure here in the of the stick as he knocks that one away. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blows, stopping the play. And that's another penalty, James. And you know that his teammates aren't going to like this. This really disrupts the flow of the bench and puts his team in a bad spot. The Dynamo send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Passes over to Abramov. With possession along the wall. There's a shot! Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Moscow's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Goaltender very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Play blown dead, let's get the call. I always hated to play in these games. You just came out flat, and nothing you did made it better. Now they gotta kill off a penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Moscow's added yet another one here to the 
total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. He really bared down on his stick on that one. He got the velocity behind it, but it was nowhere near the net. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. 3-0 lead. There's still one more game to go, but this feels over right now. Yeah, it feels over, but it isn't. I mean, there have been comebacks of this nature, James. So you know that the coaching staff will be preaching this, and let's continue to do what we've been doing all series long. We've had good habits. We've really owned play. Now it's about really finishing, but we got to do it now. That'll do it from rinkside here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. Playoff hockey, it's simply the best. And we'll see you at the next postseason game. Cheers.